The people you are about to see perform are members of a group that produces some of the best specialty theater in the world, the National Theater of the Deaf. It's for the deaf and the rest of us. Let's see. Dear God, are you real? Some people don't believe in that. If you are, you better do something quick. Dear God, I never thought that orange went very good with purple until I saw the sunset that you made last Tuesday. That was cool. Dear God, that fairy that you sent gave me five cents for my tooth and a quarter for my brother's. Well, that means you still owe me 20 cents. Dear God, are you rich or just famous? All right. You might uh, call that proof positive, that when you lose one of your senses, your ability to use other senses is enhanced. The performers are Charles Homay and Carol Adabo. Both are veteran actors. In fact, you may have seen Charles in the soaps and Carol in various productions since the late 70s. Uh, yeah. Charles. Hi. We should explain really quickly that what we were what doing just now is, sure. is something that we're developing. We were just recently invited to go to Hong Kong to perform for children. And um, the artistic director of the company wanted us to bring something that he felt was uniquely American. So one of the things that we're working on is, is children's writings. And those were actual letters written to right. God. Yeah. And this is not what you're going to be doing at uh, Bailey Hall. Right, right, no. This is Carol. Carol saying, we're giving actually two different, a double bill on Sunday night in Bailey Hall. The first is called In a Grove by um, Ryunosuke Akutagawa, a Japanese author. <laughs> Tough to spell. It's adapted from, um, well, that was the, what was the basis for the adaptation of Rashomon, which appeared on Broadway, I and see. also the film. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the second piece is a piece called, um, it's called Farewell, My Lovely. It was written by E.B. White, an essay originally by E.B. White. Oh, really? Yeah, about the Model T Ford. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful where we're performing. They've arranged to have um, antique cars mm -hmm. out in front of the theater, which is kind well, that of That should wonderful. be fun. Now, yeah. this, is, this is going to be Saturday night? No, it's Sunday. Sunday. There's two performances, 2.15 and 8.15, Carol's saying. We'll be at the um, Broward Community College in Fort Lauderdale um, at the Bailey Concert Hall. And most of the people know that the theater of the deaf is for the deaf, but it is for a lot of other people. Everybody can go and enjoy it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All people can enjoy it, absolutely, yeah. Now, you're taking a troupe, or the troupe, to China, right? Yeah, yeah. This production that we're performing on Sunday oh, was invited to tour China. Um, we'll be going for one month. Um, I think we're the first Western theater company to have an official invitation, so we're very honored. It's quite a big thing. I would imagine. Now, the theater itself, or the troupe itself, has been in existence for, what, almost 20 years now, right? 67 or yeah, something? Yeah, almost 20. No, it started 1967, right. <laughs> NTD itself, um, we've done everything. We've done Broadway throughout its history, long history. Broadway, what? twice um, on Broadway. We won the Tony Award a little while ago for theatrical excellence, which was neat. Um, toured all over Europe, Germany. Mm -hmm. I think we're the first theater company to tour all 50 states, <laughs> and we felt every state. <laughs> um, we just recently came from Kentucky. And uh, it was very cold in Kentucky, and it's very warm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you were out to the beach a little bit this morning, right? No, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Right after, right after here, we're going oh, to hit the beach, yeah. Well, I can't blame you for I'll that I'll be the one who'll be red with the, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the performances are obviously by some people who can speak and other people who are actors without voice, right? Right. We have eight actors who are deaf who mm -hmm. use sign language. Mm -hmm. And there are two that are speaking actors. I'm one of the voicing oh, actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the speaking actors give a voice to the deaf performers, to the deaf sign language. That's uh, it's a meshing. So uh, those of us who cannot read sign language can see what's going on. Yeah, okay. the, the effect is to heighten both of the languages, right. to, to make language physical. All right, well, thank you both very much for coming in. Well, thank you so much for your All right, Jill?